Hi, this is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today we will do a quick flip through this little, actually not so little, <laughs> journal, the Generations Journal. You've seen me work on it and uh, there were a few videos where I made elements that go in it, just like this paper that we will soon see. And as soon as you see this video, um, it means it will be in my Etsy shop if it's still there because sometimes by the time I post the video, uh, somebody already snatches <laughs> the journal off my Etsy shop. But you know what? I'm, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> so if you want to see a flip through of this um, and maybe it will give you ideas to create your own, how about we meet each other on the other side of the intro? Okay, so this is it. It's the, the um, Generations Journal. Um, you've seen it a few times because I made a video for the front, I made a video for some of the papers inside and the tags as well, but this is the final product and I did promise I, will make a, I would make a flip through and then put it in my Etsy shop. So um, here we go. So this beautiful journal, I didn't count the pages, maybe I should do that. Look at this chunkiness. Look at that. Can you imagine when whoever decides to purchase this put their own um, ephemera and pictures in there and adds papers and such? It's going to be a beautiful thing. I left the bind, I think the binding you call, um, showing because I really liked it. It was pretty. I left the, the back empty. You could decorate it or leave it as such. I just really liked the fabric, so I wanted it to show a tiny bit. And when you flip the first page, you have a very, very soft and fluffy belly band. Oh, I just love it so much. And, um, of course, papers and journaling cards for you to put whatever, but you could put your own pictures in there, you know, um, tickets to an event or... A love note from you know someone in your family if you're making like an heirloom out of this like an album <clears throat> for your children or grandchildren the possibilities are really you know to your own to make because because you can use this whichever way you want and this is a page we created together I did make a video with it it is so Oh my goodness, it is so much fun to do. I really hope you check it out. And I have to make more because looking at it and I feel happy. I know this is strange, but I feel happy just looking at the paper. And this, I made some stenciling with um, um, paste. I don't remember the, the word I'm trying to say. Texture paste. Um, I also made a video for these cuties just little embellishment this one is really just to be beautiful it has no purpose other than that I left the pages um, wide open for you to glue pictures write notes uh, glue your own ephemera in there create more pockets if you want I really wanted whoever decided to purchase this journal to have fun and add their own touch, especially if this is going to be some sort of family album. I don't want it to be so heavily decorated that you don't have any um, space to, to make it your own, right? So I left it pretty classic. And there's all kinds of different papers and texture. Um, see like this for example you can obviously take this picture out and put another one it could be something of your family or leave this one right in the back and put another one in the front like there's all kinds that you can do you can decide this is this going to be yours right this will be yours and I'm just going to flip through the pages there, like I said I tried to make sure they're all different and different textures and feels this I decorated myself. I just felt like it looked like old uh, wallpaper, really vintagey. 
and this is a simple pocket made with the ripped paper and of course you can add way more paper than what I've, I've done I just put paper as a little bonus but as well to give everyone ideas on what to put here right you can add some more this picture is actually glued and I put the tape to make it look like the tape is holding it so obviously you could just glue another picture on top or leave it as such and write a story and put the picture that relates to the story here or over this one like there's so much you can do you can really really make it your own mulberry paper love it oh I love this I made a few of these and I put two in this journal and I made a video for this <clears throat> these are paper and fabric embellishments and instead of just gluing them completely in the page as a decoration or an embellishment I decided to use them as a side tuck like so or pocket side tuck or side pocket whichever way you want to call it so of course you can write underneath here and you can add more papers and this little cutie all I did was I stamped on the page of course it's very light so you can write all over this and I added this beautiful tag and I have a video for tags I think that I made and this is just a my famous lunch wrapping paper and I sewed on each side put some embellishment and now it's a pocket to put all kinds of ephemera and journaling papers and cards you can put a lot more in here a lot more will fit and of course like I said make it your own you can stamp everywhere on this you can write you can glue your pictures add more pockets at the bottom of pages oh my goodness I have to sit down and make that paper again I am in love with it oh it's so beautiful and it's relaxing I can't believe I did this <laughs> oh, so relaxing so re it's rewarding I love to create things that you feel so good when you're done it gives you such a boost of confidence and happiness oh, do you feel it do you hear it in my voice I'm not kidding this is like medication this is yeah I have to do this again <laughs> there is a video about them and you can feel I think in the video if I recall the the joy I felt you can feel it in my voice like I uh, you do probably right now as I'm speaking about it <laughs> oh. yeah so as you can see you have so much space to write and stamp and glue pictures and tag you know put attachments like little clips like this like this beautiful tag here like I said there's a video for a video it's pretty much a video for um most of the elements that were put in this journal the tags and the papers and such right and the embellishments so they will be all underneath the same menu usually they you can find them in a few different menu in my videos I love this this is a, also a fabric embellishment and I made this beautiful tag to go with it yeah this could be a very beautiful family album slash journal and storytelling right another kind of mulberry paper I love it that's the inside of the signature there's two signature and I'll have to count the pages I didn't count them I just put them in <laughs> and that's another embellishment we created and just you know slide papers in there for writing that's it and you could put a lot more I just put two but obviously there's a lot more space that's the other one we had created with the fabric and the paper and I made another side top spot tuck spot with all kinds of ephemera that you can write behind and you can add so much more of course and this is a piece of my uh, handmade papers I just put a little stamp there that says 
postcard and you can write as if it was a postcard why not you know write sideways like so and then put a picture there's so many things you can do you have to make it your own don't hesitate to you know glue things and add some stuff like I know people say oh my god it's so beautiful I'm afraid to touch it no go ahead it's yours have fun that's why I made it for and another nice pocket with a reminder of what we put for the uh, belly band at the beginning it's so soft oh it's so fuzzy <laughs> and another beautiful tag you can glue a piece of paper and write in the back or you can write directly if you have a thick enough or black uh, pen and um, like I, I think these pen would work really well to write in the back or something thicker and um, yeah some more journaling papers and you can add so much more in this pocket and there you go and the corners are reinforced I love to put metallic corners that way your book doesn't get damaged although it's already vintage <laughs> you know and uh, yeah so there it is that's the generations journal I really hope you liked the flip through I um, I will put it on my Etsy shop of course I by the time I edit this video and put it online I can't guarantee that their journal will be there I have no idea maybe it will maybe it won't in any case I really do hope it gave you some ideas about creating one of your own and uh, as always I will say thank you for watching I hope to see you soon bye bye bye